Good morning, friends. It's Alexor again, and today we have a little bit of a different video. Um, this is a reaction to Geeks and Gamers because of Doug, the Doug, right? Talk to this respect, return is wild. You know, you may not know it, but um, I think a month ago, I think, he posted a tweet saying, because he was banned from Twitch many years ago, 2019, I believe, has been streaming on YouTube only ever since. And now it came out that there was some messaging to inappropriate. Leaning into the inappropriate direction is the wording he would use to a minor. So basically it was somewhat leaning into the inappropriate messaging with a minor. And um, he posted that. That's why he got banned. He posted on X and he got roasted for it quite heavily. Rightly so, obviously. And now he is back and he just posted one video. So actually, uh, one, one uh, image that was this. So he's playing chess, everyone else is playing checkers, right? Pretty much. So um, this was the only thing he posted. F 52 million views. That's just insane. And he also changed his banner recently on a bait. And he is sort of floating above the water. I don't know, it feels to me like... And let's listen to the Geek of Gamers first what they say. I have my opinion on what this could mean, but um, let's see what they have to say. The drama surrounding Dr. Disrespect continues to fascinate the internet, and now we have a brand new development, ladies and gentlemen. Currently, as it stands, Doc has updated his Twitter banner, and there are little bitty pieces of information in there, and the internet is going crazy over it right now. You have Keemstar saying, Dr. Disrespect, new Twitter banner update. Sounds like he's going to leak more info on the Twitch ban. Zoom in. So originally with Doc, if you go back, he had, this was his original Twitter banner. Then when all the controversy started and all of that, he updated it. And this is what he originally had updated it to. And okay. now we have the brand new update, which is this right here. And I will zoom in on it. So if you look at it, as Keemstar says, zoom in on it. What is this? Well, obviously there's a fishing hook. It's fishing, and it is hooked. Bait. The original tweet that he made, this tweet right here. This is the last tweet that Dr. Disrespect made. This is the most damning piece of evidence against Dr. Disrespect, as I have said many times. No matter what. It doesn't matter what weirdos on Twitter or blue-haired landwells on social media or Twitch say. What he said in this tweet is the most damning piece of evidence, and it's right here. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations As I said. that sometimes leaned in too much in the direction of being inappropriate. That is the worst thing that he has said up to this point. Now, if he has details then we can, obviously, we would love to hear those details and hear his perspective on that. Um, so, again, you close up on it, and, again, it, all it is, it's the tweet. That's all this is, is the tweet. And he is specifically, if you look at it, the, the most definitive thing you can read there is the Twitch ban. So that would lead the speculation as to he's going to talk about the Twitch ban. That would lead that speculation. And that was the most logical thing that you can take away from this is that he's going to talk about that and give more specifics. He's going to have to do that. On a side note, shout out to Nick Merckx. Nick Merckx actually reacted to my last Dr. Disrespect video. Super cool of him to do that. This video of his has like 400,000 views in eight hours. Number eight on trending. Um, so if you're if you're new here because of the Nick Merck's reaction. I greatly appreciate it. And, um, you know, so uh, it was really cool, though. So big shout out to Nick Merck's. I really do appreciate him um, reacting to my video and pushing a lot of extra traffic this way. But this is going to be fascinating. And as we know, Doc is a showman. This is what he is. He's a showman. I think that his self-awareness is not completely there right now because... So, yeah, okay, first of all, the duck is absolutely magnificent, to put it that way, at creating traffic, <clears throat> at, no, I should say, garnering attention, that's it. That's his absolute masterpiece. And this, of course, is why he's so successful, because that sells fantastically on, on these days, right, on social media. Um, 
He says he doesn't have self-awareness. I'm not sure that this is true. I think he's actually... So this is my personal opinion. I'm going to throw it right in here. Maybe he has the same. I think he's just playing that as well as he can. He very much is aware that if he... I don't even think he's going to really address the whole minor thing at all. Because he said this in his tweet already. What he's going to do is... Just think about it. Everyone is... Like, this has 50 million views, his, his tweet, right? 50 million. So there's going to be a lot of people that want to know what actually is going to happen. Or happened. So he's going to make a stream anytime soon, probably. And he's going to bigly announce that on Twitter, obviously. And he's going to say that he will come clean on that stream. What does this mean? Hundreds of thousands of people are going to watch that stream. Okay. So that is a huge way to monetize your stream, right? And a lot of people are going to stay with him, obviously. The more eyeballs you get in it, some people will enjoy what he says and they will just stay there. Or at least follow him, get, numbers go up, you get the idea. Now, obviously, morally, this is all questionable because I know that there is no such thing as bad publicity. That's what people say, right? But I think there is. I thought that for the longest time that there is no such thing as bad publicity, but now I think that there is because... Even though you get all your, your earthly material in following and money, but you have to sell your character and your soul for that, right? That's... You have to make yourself... You have to, like, sort of do this yourself with, with God, but I think it's a bad thing. Now, what he's going to do is... He did the same thing with, when he was doing that, when he was cheating on his wife years ago, right? And he was still on Twitch at the time. And then he went... And as, to this day, I don't understand why he made it public at all. Right? He, he cheated on his wife, apparently, with some girl on a convention or whatever. And then he came online and said this, crying on, on stream. Couldn't even look into the camera, pretty much. Uh, that he fucked up and all that. And that he would, would take a, a hiatus for, for a moment of time in not streaming. And then he came back... And the, the welcome back stream, so to speak, like a month later or something, had the highest view numbers he ever had. Because people obviously wanted to know what he said about it. And because people don't know this, but psychologi psychologically, psychologically, damn, <laughs> we humans want closure, right? If things like that are left in the open, we absolutely are eager to know what actually happened. We want to we know what is going on. And the same is true with what happened when he was cheating. We wanted to know what's going, what was going on. So he had like 30, no, I think it was 60,000 viewers on that stream, which at the time was a lot. It's not a lot these days, but I think it was 2015 or something. I don't even know. At the time, this, that was a lot of viewers on Twitch, like a lot, okay? And now with this, I think he will be coming back to hundreds of maybe 200,000 viewers on his stream just so people know what's actually going on. Now, he has the problem that he was actually demonetized on YouTube. So I don't know how this all works. But looking at his character, right? Not the guy himself. He's called Guy Beam, I think is the real name. But the Dr. Disrespect, this character he plays every day, he would be the one who uses this to his advantage and just... He has this super old inflated ego and just doesn't care about any of that shit and just goes in and keeps doing what he's been doing. So I wonder if this is sort of his, because he said that this is bait, there is a bait, like a hook on this Twitch ban. So is he actually going with the, I, all, I just baited you all into this by making this tweet? It's not actually what happened. It was just a bait. I think that's a bad look because I don't think people are that dumb that they buy that. This might work in some reality TV bullshit, but not in gaming and streaming. People are too clever for that. Gamers are too intelligent for this shit. Um, if he actually goes with it, this was all just bait. Ha ha. I just fucked, I fucked it with you guys a little bit. And actually, this never happened that way. Here are the Twitch things that I said. It's not that crazy look. He might go with that, but that's still, I think... People are going to be like, eh, I don't buy that for a second. I mean, if he has the, has the receipts and you see that the messages aren't actually that bad, and they can't be that bad, if we're being honest, because if they were really bad, there was some real sexual innuendo, some real inappropriate messages, then this would be a crime. 
And you cannot cover up a crime with an NDA, right? You just can't. It's just, it's not legal. So the fact that there was an NDA with Twitch and him, and they sort of settled this off court, outside of court, um, means that it wasn't actually illegal from a law perspective. It is, of course, still wrong from a godly perspective and a moral perspective, because it's adultery, pretty much. And even then, you have no point in messaging any sort of other woman leaning into the inappropriate if you are married with children, right? But still, I think this is... It's tough to say what he's actually going to go with here, but um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going on tangent with this, but um, I hope he doesn't go with the bait thing, because that... Doesn't look, let, let's see what he actually I don't know if he understands just how bad the perception of him is right now. He has a massive fan base, clearly, and that fan base isn't just going to go away overnight. But there's a lot of people that are very uncomfortable about that highlighted part right there in his tweet, and he needs to give full clarity on that. And I'm just going to be honest. I think everybody has the – I think it's absolutely legit to be concerned about this right here. Sure. And say, hey, I'm not sure I can support this guy until I get more clarity or understand what this means. That is the end. Actually, a key thing he says there, um, I don't think I can support this guy until I get more clarity. And this is something I mentioned because, um, bring this up, because he, uh, Nick Merckx, as he mentioned earlier, was also reacting to his other video. And there was one key thing in here I wanted to show you guys because I'm a little bit confused about this. And I think this is also a big lesson for you guys in there, for anyone really, Nick as well, because I think there is a problem based on what we have seen is far worse but they're both bad both bad let's not give doc a, a, a pass here until we have more information both they're bad, both for bad. Sure. but that line right there from the man himself guys this tweet was pure chaos i mean he originally put out this tweet and then he changed it like two or three times he made edits to the tweet and edited out weird words and shit to try to make the tweet seem different than what i i don't know man just th this tweet was a shit show okay aside from that overall i mean look the guy himself comes out and says that he was doing these things i'm just saying for me this was the nail in the coffin for our relationship you know being friends that's it man there's not a lot more that needs to be said is there though i was so confused to hear this from nick Merckx because he literally said himself that they were friends they had a relationship Right, and then he like Dr. Disrespect comes online and tweets that, and then this is done. You're not even gonna pick up the phone and call him and say like, Doc, seriously, you posted this. What the fuck's going on? Just, just explain yourself, right? We're friends. I want to know what actually is going on here. Tell me about it. Nothing. He just completely drops him like that, and I'm just confused what kind of friendships are actually going on these days. Um, now, I'm not trying to defend Doc at all, and if then Doc says, yeah, this happened, man, and I'm very sorry about this and all this, and then he, Nick Merck says, okay, I can't, I can't support this, man, sorry about this, but I gotta cut ties. Totally respect it, totally fine. But over a tweet, at least have the dignity to actually call your friend, if he is your friend, apparently, and they, they've been playing together online for like many years, I believe. I'm not sure about years, but it was very long. They were streaming together and playing together. Um, online. I don't know, man. At least just have a call and talk about these things. Well, what's going on here? And I'm just... This actually... I like Nick Merckx a lot, but this made me think a little bit less of him because at least have the decency to talk to the person. I mean, he admitted it himself, but at least like, dude, what, what's going on? What is happening here, man? You, you just said you did this. What the fuck's going on? Tell me about it. And maybe because I think... Personally think, as you know, right, Jesus said himself, he came to earth not for the righteous, but for the sinners to repent. And I think, personally, if Doc really did this, very bad, very bad, I'm not trying to defend it. But if he did this, and now he comes clean and says, I completely fucked up, I'm going to repent to God. Maybe he doesn't even say that, but whatever, because repentance is between you and God, not with the social media. But if he says, I completely fucked up, this was bad on all levels. I admit, and I'm trying to do better, for me this is fine. And if you can tell it's actual real repentance and he's actually really sorry, not just playing a game there. This is totally fine, because this we are all sinners. Everyone has bodies in his basement. Everyone has done something bad. 
Because as you know yourself, as Jesus also said, he who is without sin shall cast the first stone. Right back in the days when some people brought a, a, um, a woman, wife to Jesus and said she was doing adultery, who basically was cheating on her husband. And they said, Jesus, doesn't she have to get stoned now that she did that? Does, did that? And then Jesus says, he who is without sin shall cast the first stone. Literally saying, and nobody actually then stoned her. Literally saying, you all are sinners. We are all sinners on this earth. We all have our issues. And then God or Jesus or anyone in this for that matter can forgive us our sins if we truly repent and do better. Right? We are faulty in our natural state, but we can do better. And so can Doug. And I can completely forgive him what he did there. I can even forgive Chris Tyson, honestly. And his, his shit looks way worse. But Jesus and God has forgiven way worse things than that. But it has to come from a place of true repentance. Not just saying, I'm sorry, man. Let's proceed. Actual repentance. Okay. We even saw this with this OnlyFans girl, right? Who made millions with prostitution, pretty much. She didn't have actual sex, but like she was selling her body and she then converted to God and repented. It's possible. Anyone can be saved, right? Jesus saves anyone, but it has to come from a, a real point of repentance. And I think this was a bit weird from Nick Merckx. That's why I want to bring this in here because I think this was like, why not at least call your friend if he's actually your friend and talk to him about what's actually going on. Tell me about it. Anyway, this video is getting too long. So, so let's proceed here. Game right there for me. So we will see if that's his plan to give us more details, to give us more specifics on this. It will be interesting. One thing you can say about Doc, the guy knows how to keep people talking and keep people guessing, and I'll give him credit for that. Um, and we're just going to have to see how this whole thing plays out. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate you. Uh, thank you for subscribing to Geese and Gamers. We're going to continue to follow this situation. And we will talk to you later. Yeah, so as I said, I just want to wrap this up really fast. The doc definitely knows how to keep attention, right? Um, he's playing this all like a fiddle, like perfectly how he plays this on a business frame, I should say. Not really from a moral standpoint, but I get it, like the attention is insane. And I think he's just going to... Maybe this is actually, if he actually went with the bait there, and even when he was writing the tweet, was the, doing this intentionally, because he was editing, editing it a lot, he might have thought, okay, this is too much, um, this is too crazy, this I can sort of, sort of rectify. Maybe, we don't know. We'll see what comes from that. But, again, I will say, nobody is without salvation, right? Anyone can be saved. If they truly repent on it, totally, everything is possible. They have to be punished. They have to, because karma is a bitch, right? You have to go through your shit. We all have to. We all have to pay for our sins. And that's totally fine. But, I mean, we don't know. We just don't know. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe he actually every, just played everyone like a fiddle to get more attention on his stream because it was sort of stagnating. Who knows? Maybe that's what, his, what he's doing. Maybe it isn't. Maybe he's trying to cover it up. We don't know. But... Anyway, let me know what you think of this. Do you think anyone can be saved? Do you think some people are beyond salvation and they should not be able to live amongst us anymore, should be in prison or whatever? I mean, obviously, some people should be in prison to, to pay for their sins, but like something like this, for example. What do you think of these things? Or maybe even the Chris, Chris Tyson situation with Mr. Beast, right? Which is way worse, by the way. Way worse. I totally agree with Geeks and Gamers here. That's a way worse situation. So let me know what you think of this, and I will see you in the next video.